Hello everyone and welcome to another Beam and G Drive video. Today I'm just going to be recapping over the latest update that Beam and G Drive had. In the update they added this new port to Italy. They also added an electric SBR called the ESBR. And they also added new engine sounds as you can see right here. Now some of these engine no sounds are basically automation sounds like this one and this one right here. This one has a, just the standard automation V6. Not really anything, just basically it. And, and the D series or the V8, which is now it's the new V8 for everything. Except the Civetta Bolide, but we'll get into that later. Right now, this is just again, it's just the same V8, V8 V6 sound as the automation one. And the Passima itself is fine. Nothing really changed. It's just a few cars actually changed, like the SBR I told you has a that's an electric mode. It's a really cool car. So next we got the 200 BX, and right off the bat, I actually after the Pesma, I thought everything was going to be automation, like all the automation engines. But when I heard this engine, I was like, whoa! It literally sounds like a 80s rally car from Forza, like one like Group B rally car. It just sounds so aggressive. I mean, like, compared to the other inline four engine, it was, this is like, pretty, it's really cool, actually. I mean, yeah. And the cars in the, in the update never actually changed, really. It just the engine sounds in the port. And, yeah. And they also had a gas stations around. I heard, I saw that, but I've only been to one so far, so I don't really know where the other ones are. But I'm, I'm just sticking around the port in this. There is a upper track on the port, but I didn't notice that until I was uh, until right now. I'll probably I don't know. I'll look at that someday, but probably not in the video. Or it might be. I don't know. Anyways, let's go to the next car. Okay, we got the Seville Bullet, and this engine changed so much. I was thinking it was going to be the same engine as the Barstow, like with the, with the Barstow engine, but I was just like, this is just so confusing. Like, it, uh, and you know, like the old, if you've heard the old Civetta engine, it's just a higher revving V8 from the Barstow or the Moonhawk. But when I heard this engine, I, I was confused because I thought it, they were still going to share the same engine sound, but I guess not anymore. The Barstow is actually sharing the D series sound right now like which is the automation V8 but with a little bit of it sounds a little bit different like with a tune or something and I mean boy it still feels the same it just it, I felt like it felt different because of the sound it kind of sounds more like a race car now it, it's really cool like the two, 200 BX the inline four I'm, I'm glad there are two V8 options it's really cool and there's nothing really to say right now. I'm just testing the sound right now. Um, long gearing. Anyways, let's go to the next car. So this is just the normal SBR, not the electric version. And it, the engine sounds really, really cool. Like, I the low RPMs are pretty. They're really deep, and like they. I don't know, they kind of remind me of a tractor. <laughs> I don't know why. Right, that's just what I feel like with the low RPMs. But when you get to the high RPMs, that sounds, it, they sound really cool. And I also don't want, don't know what the whine is for like the reverse gear. I don't know what that is. I don't know, it could be like a supercharger sound that they forgot to cut out. I don't know. But whatever, it's fine now. It's only in a few cars that I tested. But anyway, the SBR feels the same, like usual, all the other cars, and, I mean, the only difference is the engine, actually. But for some cars, it's a big change. So, this is the Barstow, well, yeah, but the engine, is, it's the exact same engine sound as the D-Series, which is surprising, because, I, as I said last time, it wasn't. So, this is, they share the same engine noise now. It's probably the same with the Grand Marshal, because the, in the old version, the Grand Marshal had the same as the D-Series. 
But anyways, let's just get to this one. It's going so fast. Anyways, this is the K series. It's just an inline six, and it does. This is the automation inline six. Really, no difference between like maybe better sounding from when you export the automation cars, but it's just the same thing. I mean, it does sound cool, but I kind of feel like maybe you change it a little bit. The I mean, it's pretty much copying the regular the the automation sounds. I don't know. It doesn't seem. I just feel like they should have just added something else to it, like a something like a little bit of a tone, maybe. I don't know. But I, again, it's fine. I don't really, I don't really care. But the the K series feels the same as usual. Don't know why I keep mentioning this because they all feel the same. Or maybe they feel new to me because I haven't driven them. I don't know. Anyways, next car, which is going to be the Hopper, the Abishu Hopper. So this is another inline six, but it's like the other version. The it's it shared the same engine noise as the V6, but this is a slight. It sounds kind of like the inline the inline. I mean the V6 from automation, but it, it just has a tiny bit of the feel to it. And also the hopper is the one that I noticed a huge change on uh, for the performance and stuff. But there's also, they added a uh, side rails and a front push bar. But it also feels really like a, For a Jeep from Forza. Like, I really feel like I'm play playing Forza, but better Forza. Yeah. I mean, like, you feel, it's a, like, feeling it, I don't know, it just feels much like a Jeep. I've never driven a Jeep, but, I mean, in Forza. <laughs> Forza isn't the most realistic with the steering wheel. So, I, I don't know. And what I'm trying to get is it feels similar. And, well, nothing else to say really. It has a, the engine noise, it's really cool. Like, I was expecting the same engine noise as the V6, but no. Okay, next car. So now we have the Autobello Piccolina, or Autobello as everyone calls it. It this one is has another flat four like the SBR, but it's it actually did have a different engine noise in the other old version, so it stays the same like that. It has a older or it has a different sounding engine. I think because of the leader, like I don't know, whatever. It's just uh, sounds different. This one sounds older. It sounds more like an old car and stuff. Yeah, the auto, the um, I'm just gonna call it Piccolina. The Piccolina is probably my one of my favorite track cars, rear wheel drive track cars, and BMG drive. It's very agile, and you can turn really fast. I'm just saying that. And yeah, here's one of the gas station. This is the gas station I found. Yeah. So now I'm gonna get the ESBR, the new car. So here it is, right here. And what I noticed right off the bat was you couldn't, you could only dr actually like bring the revs up when you're in gear. So like you couldn't, you couldn't floor it in neutral and hear the engine. But you've, I don't know, I don't know if that's what real electric cars are. I've never really been in a all electric vehicle. But like the, the electric 200 BX, that you can just you can rev it while it's in neutral. But for this, it's not. And this one does. It does sound like a, it sounds really cool. So after this is just gonna be a, a time lapse of me. Um, I I was just thinking, like, what if I made a race version for the uh, ESBR? So I just change everything, change the bumpers and stuff. There's not really anything important. I just wanted to see how it felt like with a giant wing and a giant splitter. So, yeah, there you go. Yeah, nothing much happening. And there we go.
An electric race car. And it still spins the wheels as usual. That's, nothing's gonna change that. And it, I mean, it could handle better. Not the best handling. And really nothing to say. It, it drives pretty smoothly while like 50% throttle, 75. You can see the, the throttle gauge right down there on the bottom. Anyways, let's just go see how fast it can go. Okay, we're at the highway. Now, it's, it's the same old highway. Nothing changed. It's just the port added and some gas stations around the place. And it, this accelerates pretty fast. Oh, I mean, pretty. it accelerates pretty fast at the high RPMs. I'm pretty, I was pretty impressed with that. And top speed 155 that's normal for an electric car i mean there is only one here that makes sense well anyways guys thanks for watching